In this video, I'll show you how to connect your brother L2640DW printer to your Mac computer. I'll show you how to connect, how to print, and also how to scan using the Wi-Fi. So let's get started right away. First thing that we need to do is to connect the printer to your Wi-Fi network. We're gonna press the menu button once. Then with this plus and minus button, we're gonna navigate in this menu until you see network it's number four once you're on it we're going to confirm with the ok button over here then again we're going to press the plus or minus button it does not matter until you select w l a n wi-fi press ok then when you see find network you're going to press ok You'll be presented with the different Wi-Fi networks around the printer. You can press the plus and minus button to shuffle through them. And once you see the name of your Wi-Fi network, press OK. And now it's time to, uh, to type the password. Obviously, this printer does not have any buttons like numbers or letters. So how this is done, it's a bit um, uncomfortable, I would say, is with the plus and minus button, you're going to shuffle through letters and numbers. And once you see the one that you want to type, you're going to press OK and then you'll go to the next one. Once your password is typed, you're going to press the OK button. And then on the screen, you should see apply settings. If you want to select yes, and this is what you want, you're going to press the plus button here once and it will try to connect. Connected, press the OK key, press OK, and this is it. The printer is now connected to your Wi-Fi network. Then on your Mac, you're going to go on the top left corner where you see the Apple logo. Click on it and select System Preferences. Now, if you have a newer Mac operating with a newer Mac OS, it will be slightly different. If you have a newer one, you need to go on the left side all the way down until you see Printers and Scanners. If you're on the older operating system, choose printer and scanners from this menu now, then on this page if you have a lock on the lower left side click on the lock and enter the password of your mac computer you may not have to do this then it's time to add a new printer go ahead and click on this plus sign if you have a newer mac you're going to need to click on this over there i'll put a screenshot so you see better once you do this, you're going to need to select your broader printer from the list. Wait a few seconds once it's selected and you'll be able to add it. Click the add button. Your broader printer is now added to your Mac, which means you can now print and also scan. Let me show how to scan first and then I'll show you how to print. So to scan, you simply need to go over here and find your brother printer in the list of all the printers that are connected to your Mac. So mine is over here. I click on it and then I'll select scan. If you have a newer Mac, again, it should be about the same, maybe in other terms. Then click on open scanner. This printer has two scanners. One of them is this flat bed over here. And then we also have a top document feeder if you intend to scan multiple, multiple pages at the same time. I'll show you how both of these are working. So let's start with this one over here. Take your page, place it facing down with the top part of your uh, paper on the left side and then align this corner of the paper with this corner of the scanner. So just drag it until both are touching. Then close the scan lid. Then click on show more details. Over here on the top, choose flat bed. If you want in black and white or color, I'll choose color. Resolution. If you're scanning text, I suggest you use 300 dpi. If you choose 600 dpi, it may take a longer time to scan. And of course, it's better if you're scanning pictures, but for text documents, 300 is enough. Then over here, you can uncheck use custom size and select the size of your paper. Mine is a US letter size, so I'll keep it like this. 
Finally, you'll be able to select in which document your scan will go. In my case, it's in the picture folder. This is where I want, but you can edit this. You can give this scan a brand new name. And finally, the format. You can choose in which format this will be scanned. So if, let's say, you're scanning a text document, maybe you want this to be PDF, choose PDF. Finally, you're going to press scan. And now it will scan and actually save the document. You will get a saving image when it's done and the document will be saved. Now let me show you how to use the top document feeder. So if you have multiple pages to scan and maybe you want to combine these in one PDF document, but not necessarily, align the pages, put them in the same order like that. Put them over here facing up with the top part of your document on the left side. Push it. Extend this small tray. On your Mac, you'll need to do the same exact thing we just did, but the only difference this time is over here, instead of scan mode to be flatbed, you're going to select document feeder. And if you want to combine all the pages into one single PDF file, you're going to select combine into single document once you have selected PDF. Give it a name and press scan. You don't need to touch anything. The scanner will take each of these pages by itself. And once it's done, let's go on the Mac. The file will be saved automatically. Now let me show you how to print. So to print, you just need to open any document on your Mac. Or you can also browse the web. Let's say I want to print this page. I'll open the print dialog file, then print. Make sure that under printer, your broader printer is selected. Preset, you can leave it to default preset. And then you have a few other settings like how many copies. Do you want it to be two sided? This is up to you. And pages, let's say I just want the two first page and not the whole thing. Finally, press print. And here we go. It has been printed on both sides. So this is it. Thanks for watching. Please type a comment down below. Check my Amazon affiliate links if you want to get some toner or maybe some paper for this broader printer. Or maybe if you don't have it yet, I'll put a link to this printer as well. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks.